That's odd. The M1 can't identify it, just uh, off the top of her head. That seems strange. I would have thought she'd be able to do that. Oh, well, drow flail. Carrying around some rather grotesque stuff in our inventory at the moment, but you know, that's the life of an adventure, really. In fact, let's just cut for when this is done. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Hey, everyone, welcome back. All right, we did some shopping here uh, with the Dwegar, and we actually picked up a number of valuable things. A couple of scrolls, a scroll of freedom, sold off some of the junk we don't need, and we found, most importantly, some potions of extra healing, which were very much needed. Very, very much needed, considering the kind of dangers we've been facing as of late. So, Carrot thinks that the next agenda they should go after, the next target, should be to get rid of the Kuatoa. Figuring <laughs> they would be much less a horrific danger than uh, the Illithid. So that is the way he will direct the party next. Hopefully the Kuatoa won't prove to be too much of a problem, but however we shall see. Certainly know they can be very fast and dangerous at times. Gonna have to coordinate their efforts. Alright. Some winding caverns going through here. Mm -hmm. Might be a good idea to summon up a, a wizard eye, but I think he was the only one who actually had them prepared at the moment. Yeah, it would seem that way. Oh, oh Kuatoa warriors spotting us already. Time to take the fight to them. <laughs> Doom assured. Wow, that is a lot of those paralyzation bolts. Practically drowning in them. And these Kuatoa bolts that just have so much. Well, at least we never have to worry about running out anytime soon. We should probably just start using them exclusively at this point. <laughs> Sheer volume of it all. Yeah, not that Yan is complaining. I wouldn't dream to make dealing with a lot of different creatures much easier. Wait a minute, that looks like some kind of trap. It shall be done with skill and care, if not brevity. I don't detect any magic. Maybe as long as you don't step on it, you'll be all right. But kicking for goodness. Let me send Minsk forward. Beholders here. That's strange. It's a good thing he kept that shield on. Whoa, 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 wow, we just noticed the Kuatoa are ambushing the party over here. Carried in danger. No more. It fled. Huh. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. And the beholders are eliminated. I think. Maybe. Almost. There you go. Oddly enough, it just seems a little sanctum just for them, with nothing else. Let's see what happens if you step on the funny symbol. Um, nothing. Okay. Well, Minsk was definitely expecting a bit more than that. 
Oh, that appears to be some sort of gateway which leads somewhere. What about over this way? Where does this go? It leads to a couple of tunnels. I'm going to the north. And another strange symbol like this. Still don't trust it. Gonna have Yan. Whoa! Yes, there are most certainly traps over in that direction. Along with lots of I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Ah, uh, that's one way of putting it. Ouch. Traps be that way. Wow. What is this? Ah, oh, carry-on summons. Ah, oh, that summons carrion crawlers. <laughs> they can be a real pain if uh, deployed properly. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Metal the sniffles there. Teach my to suck eggs. Well, that was that was painfully unpleasant. Um. Yes. Well. Uh, I suppose we could pass out maybe a couple of those potions that we uh, acquired recently. Only just uh, considering that what they're that is what they're there for. No problem solved. I think uh, him going forward. Detecting traps would be a very wise idea at this point. A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. Hmm. Leads to a doorway. Oh yes. Call back to the party that it was safe up to there. Yes, yes. A standard tactic that. Hmm. Seems to be a room filled with strange statues. To free the five and receive your reward, place a sacrifice before Demogorgon. The statue says the same thing. What is that? An inscription on the demonic statue reads, Place an animal sacrifice before Great Demogorgon and awaken his children from their long sleep. Wow. Why does it seem like that wouldn't be the best of ideas? His five children. One, two, three, four... It would seem he has five statues in here. Is there a link? Quite possibly. Ah, uh, either way, it's something that the very idea of it just kind of creates a form of discomfort. But is this an opportunity that the party is really going to pass up? I mean, this is real oh, danger. I could do that. Dare they do something Where like this? Goes, I am ready. Evil stands I am aside. Yes. Onward then. I can't. I'm allergic. Jump well, on right. my sword I'm while you can, evil. Allergic. I won't be as gentle. Well, Carrot would probably be convinced that the statue indicating the five children is referring to these other five statues, or at least something related to that. So who knows what they could bring forth? Jan has already searched the room and only found a few simple valuables. I think if they intend to do anything, it's going to be preparing lots of defenses. In preparation for the worst. What do you want? Just fear, actually. 
just in order to steal the party's nerves against the dangers they may soon face. Alright, have him equip this other shield. Which would do better to protect him. Ah, we are all heroes. You Oh yes, we're all heroes. Now <sighs> summoning up an animal sacrifice. This is probably a terrible idea, but why not? I think Herod will do the honors here. Let's see, uh I thought he had a minor summoning spell at the ready. Maybe it was Yan who did. Yeah, there we are. The sacrifice has been fulfilled. Kobold Commando dies. As red magic surges through it. Because the party was willing to partake in uh, this despicable demonic ritual, if only to sate its own curiosity, and potentially uh, confront the dangerous foes, the party's virtue is decreased by one. Something you need. And appearing appear to be demon knights! Hooray! Demon Knights. That that's got a ring to it. Demon Knights. All right. Um, haste. Haste is probably in order here. Gosh, maybe lower resistance. Or maybe on this one. Here it, uh, yeah, it's time to get the big magic out. I'm not sure stunning them would actually even work. Ah, maybe we can maze one of them as it comes closer. Like this one. Alright, that one is definitely, uh, having problems. Alright, Carrot mazes one, taking it out of the fight completely. Meanwhile, the one over this way has been defeated. Drops a sword, allowing the party to actually move out and take the attack against the other monsters contained within. Whoa, let's keep the defenses up here. Uh, looks like we're a bit spread out. We're gonna have to be careful here. Alright. Mm, summoning up some help would probably be a great idea. If it's possible to stun one of these creatures, it'd be probably be a great idea. Oof, Jahir is badly hurt. And by the looks of it has been uh level drained. Oh great. It's getting hurt. He's uh, fighting a horrific battle against these demon knights. We need to wear them down somehow. Alright, perhaps we're going to use remove magic to get rid of any spell protections they might have. Summon up a wyvern to help. Jahira, meanwhile. Let's see, I think heal gets rid of uh, drains. Either way, she's injured and needs to use it on herself. Yan, maybe chain lightning on these creatures. Run, Minsk, run! Oh, Minsk is down! And the demon knights are surely going to be upon us soon! Oh, we need to find a way of dealing with them. All right, try to cast Hold Monster, trying to rendering them unable to to fight. Explosive magic is too dangerous. Maybe a Chaos spell. Jahira is going to be have to be the one who protects the party, along with any summons they come up with, uh, along with another Hold Monster spell. Maybe on this one. Oh no, not that one actually. Ah, oh, too late. Ooh, and the one we dismissed is already back now. God, they killed that thing with alarming speed. 
Ooh, Jahira has been held. But the Demon Knights are badly injured themselves. Ugh, oh, what to do, what to do? Summon up an Earth Elemental to try to defend themselves. No, this fight is just going to ruin. Yeah, it didn't work. We're gonna have to reload. Rather than just watch it to go to a bloody conclusion. Gotcha. Of course! Yes, yes. A standard Where Minsk goes, is done. evil stands aside. Hopefully this time we'll be a bit better prepared for the obscenity that we're about to face. Try number two. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. All right, so he can't be impeded. Excellent. Live a good long time. Pummel these creatures with as much force as possible. Here, I have an idea. For this one that's appearing over... Well, actually, it doesn't seem to have noticed us. Maybe we can just bombard it quickly, and it won't be able to fight. It seems like if the Demon Knights can be isolated, they're much less of a danger. Stand back, or just see battle Run, go, run! Alright, that one has had a... Uh, Minsk has drawn its attention. Everyone attack it at once! As long as they're not able to focus on their enemies, we can do a lot more damage that way. Alright, so we managed to take out two of them. They're bound to be more further into the room. We have to be careful how we advance. Oh! Nasty magic's coming our way, dispelling our spell protections. Alright, get him! Minsk being badly injured fighting them. Alright, there should be a couple left. Ooh, symbol fear, but we make our saves because we are brave! Let's go. Wow. This one seems particularly formidable! Gosh, this one is tearing Minsk apart. Oof. Horrific enemies. Absolutely horrific. Wow, the amount of damage they can do. They fight with the power of Saravok. It's ridiculous. Alright, well... Um... Might be a good idea to use one of these restoration scrolls that we've been carrying around with us. And Jahira. Removes that nasty level drain with which she was afflicted. Mm. It's for the last demon knight. Yeah, it would make sense if we encounter them in such a way to make it... How could do it? I mean, it would really seem like we need to... Your Yonsen at your service! 
Here we go. Whoa, 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 easy, Minsk. Woohoo! Oh. Well, the power of these creatures. It seems they had a number of valuable magical swords upon them. Hmm, nothing remarkable, just. Magical and powerful. Certainly enough to cause lots of problems. But it seems like the items of great, greatest interest were located on the Demon Knight right by the altar. Something that Carrot is going to investigate. Except he does not have any scrolls left with which to identify it. Not Imowen. No. Perhaps Yan has something up his sleeve. God. He does. Let's identify the girdle. Girdle of Frost Giant Strength. This belt is actually the woven hair from a Frost Giant's beard. When worn, the belt greatly increases the wearer's strength, making them as strong as a Frost Giant. I think this is actually one of the items that are needed to make Crumb fair. Hammer of Thunderbolts, which we have. Gauntlets of Ogre Power, which we have. And the Girdle of Frost Giant Strength. Using the power of the hammer's true name, Crumb fair, an ultimate weapon of destruction could be completed. I think we just found the last component. That's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I think this might help Minsk a bit more, actually. Yeah, now he's titanically strong, and that's that's just fun. It's fun being titanically strong. Uh, as for that armor, hmm. Can he identify that? No. Or the sword? No. Alright, well, that's something that I suppose Carrot will carry around. I mean, he could use the exercise after all. And eventually they'll be able to identify it. Uh, the problem is, our good friends here are terribly banged up, and we don't really have any healing magic left to help them. Uh,. The rest of the party is in still fairly good condition. But we don't only see one of Feist, the Kuatoa, so injured, and the Ring of Regeneration takes time. Um, well, maybe we can use our summon companions to uh, bear the brunt of the of fight course. as they move forward. You point, I punch. Let's keep our friends here in the back. Out of harm's way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Demogorgon. I don't wonder what that terrible creature is. And it would seem the wyvern cannot fit, despite flying, as it does, through this narrow passage. Well, isn't that terribly silly? Just name what you want. Ah, uh, but it goes away, so it's no longer a problem. We can go through this direction, or up this way. Jared already complaining of exhaustion. You know, more Kuato over this way. Hmm. I think this might be an occasion where we want to send the mate.